so it's that is what like leapt out at me. It like it was just so loud to me how distorted the messaging is. Because these are professionals who are giving out this messaging. So everything is well tailored in how they deliver it to you. All right. They're not just speaking off the cuff. So it's it that's the part that bothers me. I'm not saying to choose a side with the whole thing. Um I'm saying that Israel in this little clip is the one who is blocking aid. Israel in this little clip is the one that is backing out on how the deal is allegedly being performed. Right? Like you're supposed to give the hostages back in a certain order. You flip that to give back the hostages you want to give first so that if you decide that you no longer want to play along, you still have the ones that the other side wanted back. But you got yours back. Right? So it's it's games within games, smoke and mirrors. And um, we're hearing word from Americans here in here in this country that they're t highly upset that not enough Americans have been released. Um, Diz, that's a great way of saying it. It's the game within the game. Like, why would they do that? Why would they release their prime prime chip we they know how important american lives is and just in case we're talking about israel now just in case you try to pull an okadoke we still have that ace in the hole so yeah it's a game within the game and then Yahoo could very well, because this dude has already shown his hand a couple of times. This dude, real talk, <clears throat> would not, I, in my opinion, would not have any problem if there were no U.S. Um, hostages to call it a raid to get back hostages, but really just go out there and just tear some stuff up. And then, oops, we didn't get all our people back. Right. I, I could see him doing that type of thing, him and his his cabinet doing that type of thing. But as long as there's U.S. citizens over there, he can't really play that card because America is not going to sit there and be like, yeah, well, I guess some of them don't make it back. No, <laughs> mm -mm. no, these are Jewish American citizens. Now, America ain't going to play too light um, with that part. So that's what I, I I suspect. Like what you were just saying about you don't you don't put your best chip and and, and turn them all over, which is what Israel's doing in the reverse, except they're breaking the deal by giving back hostages in the incorrect order. But it's it's all bad business. I'm oh, sorry, Trace. What were you about to say? This this whole thing literally makes me ill to my stomach. You have the United States government. And I'm gonna call him out Genocide Joe. That's my new name for him. Openly, openly saying, yep, kill all the hostages. No, no ceasefire. That's the very that's the minimum you could do. Until there's a permanent ceasefire, yes, I'm glad the hostages were released. But until there's a permanent ceasefire, I'm not gonna be satisfied. I'm not going to be satisfied with our government that keeps funding this type of terroristic, mafia-style type of attacks. Because that's what it is. They're killing, and, and they always put you in this frame of, well, they killed 1,200 Jews, which, they, which Hamas did. Hamas is evil. They're terrorists. Absolutely. But how come we don't mention the 10,000 Palestinians that have died? What, they don't matter? Are we really saying to Palestinians, you, you don't matter? What do you say to Arab Americans? Hey, we're, we're taking Israel's side and suck for you. I, I, this whole thing just, it literally, it literally makes me utterly 
frustratingly sick. We should not be giving money to any country that is committing apartheid. And that's what Israel is doing. And we keep going in this way, and we keep going, and we keep going, and we keep going. People are going to eventually get tired of it. What happens when a Palestinian American life gets threatened? We're just going to be like, well, I can tell you. I can answer that one. Nothing, because they murdered that four year old boy, and it was like, whoop. Yep. yep. And, and so it's like our government, not us the people, because I think most Americans are against this invasion and want a ceasefire, but our government officials, especially at the top, are just it's like, no, we don't need a ceasefire in one work. What do you mean it wouldn't work? That's what you do when two countries are fighting against each other. You say, hey, you stop and you stop. But our country keeps, keep, whether it's Ukraine or Israel or Somalia or Syria or Lebanon or whatever country, it's like we just keep this war thing just going and going and going. And it's, it needs to stop. I know that wasn't the conversation, but that's just what's on my mind. 